Today we're going to start unit four um, with looking at some properties of exponents. Um, and in particular, today we're looking at the multiplication properties of exponents. Um, and so when I talk about um, properties of exponents, I'm really talking about powers. And so when I look at this kind of breakdown, this is an exponent. So n would be an exponent. And the number being raised to that um, exponent is called a base. And then the entire term here is called a power. Now, what an exponent does, and we've seen this before when we did order of operations or expressions, is the exponent is telling us how many factors of the base number we have. So we're going to start by doing just a little investigation. Um, and then from there, we'll move into kind of more formal notes using these properties. So the first property we're going to look at is the product of powers, and product being our fancy word for multiplication. Or in other words, when I take a power of the same base and multiply it by another power, okay, I notice my base is the same. It's 7 cubed times 7 squared. If I were to expand what's happening here, 7 cubed means I have three factors of 7, or I have 7 times 7 times 7. And 7 squared means I have two factors of 7. And so if I look at that all together, how many factors of 7 do I have? And I have 5, which means if I know that expanding this gives me five factors of seven, then I could rewrite this as a power again by writing seven to the fifth, or that I have seven, I have five factors of this seven, okay, rewriting it. Now also notice that the sum, and remember sum means addition, of our exponents, so the exponent piece, if I do three plus two, the exponents that I have here, it equals 5, which happens to be what my product of, a of as a power looks like. So let's look at another example. I have 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th. The first 2 to the 4th means I have 4 factors of 2. The second 2 to the 4th, again, means I have 4 factors of 2. And all together, I have eight factors of two, or I could write this as two to the eighth. And notice again, if I add up the exponents I had here, I would get my product as a power again. If I had variables, x to the fourth times x to the fifth, so an unknown base, the first um, power would be four factors of x, the second meaning I have five factors of x, and expanding that allows us to see that overall we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine factors of x, or that I could condense this to say x to the ninth, nine factors of x. And again, if I look at the exponents I started with, the sum of those exponents add up um, to my condensed product here. So from this information, we can conclude that this property exists, that if I have a power, and it's important that they have to be the same base, and I'm multiplying something of the same base to one power times something to another power, then I can add my exponents together to simplify that. Okay, so we've discovered that that property works. Okay, that if I just added my exponents, I can condense it and write a simplified version. Let's look at another property, which is called a power of a power. So we're no longer looking at a product, but we're looking at a power being raised to another power. So for example, the power being raised to another power, five squared cubed. 
Now inside this parenthesis, five squared, that means I have five times five, but I have this parenthesis three times because of that exponent there. So I have five squared and I have it three times looking like this. Now counting up the number of factors of five that I have here gives me six factors of five, or I could write that as five to the six. The product, which means multiplying, if I multiplied my exponents here, two times three equals six. Another example, if I had two squared squared, I'll make that a negative two, how about that? Then I have inside that parentheses, I have negative two times negative two. And I have that twice. I have negative two squared twice. Or I have four factors of negative two squared. Or I have negative two to the fourth. And if I multiply my exponents, two times two gives me four. If I had variables, so let's say I had b cubed, cubed, so inside this parentheses, b cubed means I have three factors of b, and I have those three factors of b three times, b, 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 which means all together, if I expand that, I can see nine factors of b. I could have written it as b to the ninth. And multiplying my exponents gives me that new exponent of 9. So using that information, we can determine that if I have a power to a power, I can multiply my exponents to simplify. So now you want to watch the second part of this next video, which is going to get a little more um, involved with these properties and looking at um, some other examples.